Episode two, baby. Woo. All right. Hello there. All this is the Padges guy, who may or may not be Padges. Oh. And uh, his name is Pate. So, <laughs> it's kind of like Padges. Isn't Patches like one of the only characters to survive like the entire Soul series? Yeah, well, because he's always got the upper hand. Yeah. So he's one of the few people that. Did you, did you play the Dark Souls DLC of three? No, I watched it, but. Yeah, I don't want to spoil anything because it's a really, really good fucking character arc for mm -hmm. one of the NPCs. But Patches has something to do with it, and it's just it's so good. <laughs> right on. Gonna drop any second now. There it goes. I'm pretty sure there's at least one person by there. Okay. Jeez. There's a lot. None of them dropped anything. That's cool. That's kind of sad. <laughs> That's really annoying. It's not a Souls game without rolling through some barrels. Mm. Well, character would either have to be like really strong and hefty, or those are some super rotten barrels. Knowing the Soul series, I'm not well, sure. Well, they're undead, so maybe they just don't feel pain. That makes sense. Why would they flinch then? Uh, because rigor mortis. I get. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's okay, he's just attacking a tree. Hmm. He's chopping it down. Playing Minecraft. Ah, we can't get over there. So, we go. We could just drop down and yell at Pate. That's what I think we have to do. Yeah, what the fuck? I actually died falling off of that to get back down here one time. I had like a smidgen of health from those guys and no healing items. And I was like, cool, I'll just drop down and I'll run to the bonfire. And I dropped down and died. <laughs> Wouldn't you be one of them? Oh, he also gives you the soapstone. Yeah. To summon people. Or yeah. be summoned. Okay. There's another guy that he traveled with for a while who's really sick. Mm -hmm. he's, got, he's got a great sword and his armor is really cool. But you don't meet him for a long time. Okay. That's right, that's right. I forgot about that. Time you blow up if he does all that. <laughs> Trying to avoid you. Go this way. Yeah, you're a spear guy. I'm gonna fuck kill you before you even get the chance. <laughs> right here. You ever seen anybody climb a ladder like that? No, I was just about to comment on that. <laughs> Doing a little little jig. Yeah. And this looks like a bug. Crossbow. <laughs> Get an actual timer, a little countdown, that's cool. It also does fire damage. Not a ton, but Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Like this. <laughs> this is not how any of this was supposed to work. Oh god. Oh, oh god. god.
And that's the end of the Soul series. We're not playing this anymore. <laughs> uh, goodbye. <laughs> First dragon ring, that sounds cool. And I think... Yeah, I'm dead. I'm undead now. No. Do you just go back to normal if you get your souls, or...? No, you have to use one of these. The human effigies. Oh. And the more times you die while undead, your health just decreases and decreases and decreases. Oh, fuck. Until you use a human effigy. Yeah. And it goes all the way back up. Mm -hmm. But it just gets harder every time. <laughs> What's up, dude? Okay. All right. Not cool. You should get blown up before you can even get your souls back. I used all my stamina running there. <laughs> Running just a missile lung attack. I think those are better, actually. They are, in fact, not. Nothing I have is better. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna get my souls back. God, that is so weird. And yeah, he does a little shimmy. It's not. <laughs> it does not look natural. I could get through. Mm. I guess not. Okay. Let's think about how we get past this. Oh, yeah, that's how we're doing it. Sneak attack. Let's <laughs> get like his ass. Flawless. That's how I should have done to begin with. <laughs> oh shit. What? Infantry, huh? Oh, we went and saw the uh, Sonic movie a few weeks ago. Oh yeah, we sure did. What did you think? Um, it's exactly what I expected out of a kid's movie. It was enjoyable and stupid, you know. Also, I thought Jim Carrey did a good job. I thought Jim Carrey was really fucking good. Yeah, I, I love Jim Carrey. Uh, his dance scene in it, where it gets all the lights on and he's singing. I like the uh, the scene where he's like, he's talking about being not being breastfed or whatever. Mm hmm. No, he says I was spitting up formula before you were spitting up formula. Yeah, spitting out formulas. Yeah, I was spitting out formulas before. And yeah. And then he goes, actually, I was breastfed. And he goes, oh, good for you. <laughs> and, he, and he follows it up with, uh, make fun of the orphan or whatever. But like, if I was laughing before that, because I thought he was just saying, oh, you sucked a tit. I didn't. And I was. No, he goes, nice. That's what he says. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just started laughing. The addition of Sonic's owl mother was weird. I didn't like that. It was a self-insert character that, like, had no reason to be there. And they yeah. definitely could have put something else there. So it's like... Yeah. Oh, we're right before the boss. Jesus. Okay. Huh. That was fast. You're examining through, Jared. Mmm, two spear guys. My favorite. I do have spears. And run up here to get this item, and then I'm pretty sure the guy drops down behind you. Huh. Well, that's how it was in the original one. Yeah. Oh, fuck, he's right there! Go, go, go! Three guys drop down behind you. Never Holy mind. shit. I'm out. I didn't even see that fucking big guy there. <laughs> yeah. Spooked me. It's high enough. Oh! Move, 
12. Bottom leaf. <laughs> go, Jared, go. Leave me alone, please. Oh! Oh! I saw it winding up when I didn't move. That looked fucking painful. Yeah, ha ha. Oh, look out. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't even want to kill that guy. He's not fucking worth it. Following me still? Of course he is! Of course he is! You're in even closer chambers. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna have to kill him. I'm just gonna lead him back out here. Okay, get yourself some more room at the very least. I wanna go open the. Sh <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the fuck happened to him? <laughs> uh. Oh, he gone. Nice, you got me. There's guys later on that they're just cleaner versions of this guy. Oh my god, there's another one. <laughs> oh, he staggered me. That, I think they, they, they change up their attacks slightly. Mm -hmm. So they follow up the one slash with a second slash right after that. Fuck. And sometimes they don't do it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, do I attack now or do I take a massive thing of damage? Hmm. Oh! I like that. Yes. You're lucky I brought so many life gems. Bitch, oh god. Fuck that guy. Fuck him. There was nothing over here. That's wonderful. He was guarding absolutely nothing. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go for this item then. Uh, oh, it's right above us. There's a boss fight right there. Oh. That's not the one I'm going to. That's the uh, Pursuer. Mm. That's where you fight him. But I think we need a key to open this door. Didn't you buy a key earlier? Yeah, but it wasn't the right key. Mm. That's not always about the first game. You could literally start with a skeleton key that opened a bunch of different locks. Yeah. And you just got to go to areas a lot a earlier than you are supposed to, and it was nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, now where's the shortcut? Please, give me the shortcut. There it is. Woo. Open it slowly. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Let me take damage. I don't give a shit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Go, 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 go. Climb. <laughs> climb. Probably some more life gems off of her. Sold out. Buy one of those and call that good. I haven't even leveled up at all yet. I was gonna say. <laughs> I'll leave you alone. He's not even gonna get up. And now on to the first boss. The fire sound reader? Nope. Oh. 
<laughs> He's got a rapier. Is that how you pronounce it? I think so. It's locked. That's cool. I think if I use a human effigy here. Yeah, there it is. Summon Pate for this. And Sellsword Louette, who has gigantic ass shields. I was gonna say, Jesus. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Repent now! Repent now! I know your mustache is cool! You got little gold frame glasses! You scare me so bad! Ugh, I just, oh, you scare me! You scum! Scum! Oh god. So, did you kill him in your past life? No, 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 no. So later in the game, right, you have to you get this item that will help you travel back in time by interacting with some of these uh, gigantic trees that are these guys. Yeah. But they're dead already, but they've formed into trees. Mm -hmm. And uh, you go back in time and you kill him. Oh. Oh. Was he the last giant we could kill him too? Oh no, there's plenty of giants. He was just the uh, the leader one, or oh my god! Come on, guys, we're not doing anything. Get him! <laughs> it's a very skinny giant. Barely. I barely brushed his hand. That was. Sometimes the NPCs are more of a hindrance than a help. Come on. Alright, and now he ripped the thing out of his chest, so now he's got a weapon. Oh. Took him that long to figure it out. Or is that just his fucking arm? No, it's his arm. It's a very boring boss, I think. Yeah. But I mean, it's the, it's the first one, so you kind of... Gotta keep it simple. The boss room is just fucking boring, though. Mm -hmm. It's just a fucking cave. See you losers later. Thanks for not helping at all. <laughs> Alright, that's the first area. Damn. I only died once. It's not bad. I don't remember how you get in there. So much for the fucking no death run, Jared. I know, right? Oh, fucking start over. <laughs> Play the intro again. <laughs> and we're back. I didn't die once. Woo. That's right, I did it all over again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Jared's really good at syncing when he edits, so it looks like nothing happened. Cuck. Fuck you. I guess it's not the whole first area, because I still got that area out there and the pursuer boss, but that's all I need to do here now, I guess. It's just additional shit, not primary stuff? Not really. I mean, ah, uh, well... There's one of the giant trees down there, but oh my god. I don't have to go down there until I actually have the, uh, giant item. Mm -hmm. I go back to the, uh, Majula. What does the giant item do? It lets you use the go like access the trees and go back in time. Oh, okay. So giants are time travelers. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they just they play a role in the lore of this game because they like came and invaded us or we invaded them or something stupid. Mm-hmm. But all right, I didn't open this guy's shop earlier. How's it going, dude? Oh no, somebody locked your door? Ah, that's sick, I have a key right here. <laughs> yeah, the old lady was selling it. <laughs> she stole your key right here. Me, bro. But she says that to everyone. Let's buy some better armor. Hello? Was the Emerald Herald here yet? Or was she always here? I just didn't talk to her. Yeah, I probably just didn't talk to her. Are you, are you the next monarch? Or merely a pawn of fate? Bearer of the outfit. I will remain by your side. No, you can't get it. Until this frail uh -huh. Take this with you. What if you kick her off the fucking side? <laughs> he who made Drangleth what it once was. He, King Vendrick. King Vendrick, yeah, he sounds badass, and he. They all hype him up until you actually see him. <laughs> and he's a naked dude. Uh, with a giant greatsword. Is that a euphemism? No. <laughs> oh, okay. That's cool. I like, I like the helmet, though. Let's go with, let's go with this one. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. I gotta talk to this guy again because I opened this door for him and I didn't say anything. That helmet kind of reminds me of the... Uh, what is it? The dragon cult ones from Skyrim. Not the priest ones, but the actual cult ones from the Dragonborn DLC. Oh, the bone looking ones? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to see the hardest enemy in the game? Sure. He's in the spawn area and it's right over here. Oh. He's just hanging? Yeah, he's just hanging out. Uh, they used to have a lot more health, I feel like, in the actual original one. Mm -hmm. They're little zombie piglets. <laughs> because why? Can we skip zombie hand from him? I don't think we get anything from him. Ow. Flashbacks to the slaughterhouse right now, Jerry. Oh yeah, I went to a slaughterhouse a few weeks ago. Actually, no, it was like well, a week ago, two weeks ago maybe. About a week ago, I think it was two weeks ago. Um, yeah, it wasn't pleasant. I mean, <laughs> I'm not like a vegan or I don't it's a slaughterhouse. You know, I'm not like an advocate for not eating meat and shit. Why did I just heal? <laughs> just in case. But uh. I didn't, I didn't like the facility. It just didn't look clean to me. Yeah. <gasps> Cat. Oh, it looks like beans. Yeah. Beans, look, it's you. <laughs> no, I'm not going to call you that. You're a cat lady. I'm calling you beans. Oh, you smell wonderful. Okay. Oh, uh, by the cat ring. I don't have. That's all. So much <laughs> reduces damage from falling. Nothing suited you, I presume. No. <laughs> Can you give them catnip later on? No. What's the fucking point then? There is none. Mm. Oh, he's got more items. Oh, he's got the Elite Knight set that's in every Souls game because it has to be. Required by it's law. It's required. Yeah. Always up for business. Yep. You've mm -hmm. got nothing better to do. Yep. Look at sitting out. Now, I can level up, I think. Finally. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. I 
forgot how to do level up. Do you not do it at the bonfire? I thought you used to do it at her, but I guess not. Let's balance, burn, item box. No, no, no. Reverse hollowing. Yeah, but why would I burn that? Alright, whatever. Cool beans. Am I an idiot? Do I just not know what to do? Maybe. Fuck. Okay. Whatever, we're going to the next area. I don't need to level up. Yeah, beans, did you hear your name? We call you? Lay down right there. She go ahead. Apparently it's time to clean herself. Hold on. Are you going to attack me again, Beans? <sighs> hmm? I would prefer if you didn't, but I understand if you do. You're very warm. I think I have to like hit another bonfire and then come back and then she allows me to heal. Because I just now talked to her. Hmm. Also, there's an NPC later on, right? That you meet, and you can recruit her back to the uh, Majula. Yeah. And then, uh, that weaponsmith guy is her dad. Oh. And then she's like, wow, he looks like my dad. And he's always like, well, she looks like my daughter. But they never actually know. Oh. And they're always like, a million fucking feet apart. <laughs> and they never want to talk to each other either. That's funny. So they never actually figure out that they are father and daughter. And it's really fucking sad. Jesus. And you can't do anything about it. <laughs> you could just say something, but your character doesn't fucking talk. Yeah. Mute ass. Alright, Connor, this is not an opinion question, right? But... Who's okay. the coolest looking boss in ever? Oh, there's one. There's one of the Templar guys. Oh, they're cool looking. Right? But I'm going to leave them alone. Mm -hmm. Because I want this bonfire first. Okay, so it's not an opinion question. What is What's it? What's the best looking Dark Souls boss? I mean, I already said it earlier. I, I think it's Artorius. Yeah, but you're forgetting about the best one. And he was in the first game. Who was it? Ornstein. Oh. Uh, the best looking one? Ornstein's cool, yeah. Definitely not Smo. Smo is not cool looking. Smo's the fat one, right? Yeah, Smo's the fat yeah, one. Yeah, I like Ornstein. Ornstein's really dope. Or oh. Yeah, that's tough. I like both their designs a lot. Are you really following me up here? Holy shit. <laughs> Fall off. Fall off. Yep. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's kill this guy then. <laughs> let's hit him. Through here. I'm gonna run. Go all the way down here. I beans. So I have more room. There's another one. Oh. Come here. Come here. Get his ass. Get his really? ass. <laughs> really? Okay. Oh, that was, uh, not fair. Cheating. That was cheat. That was you saw that. There was no <laughs> telegraph. <laughs> Not Except fair. Fuck you, lunge. Don't walk off the edge, please. I want your armor. He's going off the edge, and so am I. 
Well, that's just unfortunate. That was... <laughs> uh... Well, there goes my no-death run. Restart again. All right, fast forward up until this point. Beans, you fucking fat ass. Hey, Beans is just vibing. All right, well, I'm going to end it there because I'm embarrassed, and that was disgusting. <laughs> All right, well, see you guys next time on the Fly Talk. <laughs>